It figures to be a wet one, but we'll have baseball for you on MLB Network nonetheless. Tonight, the stars are out in this minor league all-star matchup between the PCL All-Stars and the International League All-Stars. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Number 55 will be on the mound for the away team in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Now at the plate, Zach Rex. And we are set for baseball here this evening. One one home takes a pass and misses that strike two. Just tongue in there on that one. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Here he comes again, one two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. off ready with another 2 2 you know taking you inside the mind of a batter right here you can't get in auto swing mode you still have to control the strike zone a swing and a shot hit down the corner but it bends just foul into the second deck. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. To me, when it's raining, the approach at the plate Not has to foul. change a little bit, especially if you're a guy that can run a little bit. Put the ball in play any way possible, especially on the ground. Making plays in the rain becomes exponentially tougher to do when it's wet, so these offenses really need to limit the strikeouts. Into the box now, Drew Jackson. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, guys, he doubled up on that breaking ball. The that batter obviously timed the first one. The second one, he was oh, not going to yeah. let go. Good wood on that really? one, able to drive it for a base hit. So now to the plate, Ryan Healy. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Jackson, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And there he goes towards second. All even now, two and two. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Cave is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Batting four. The first baseman. Seth Brown. So coming to the plate, Seth Brown. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. One and two. Ball, 
grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Jarrell Cotton, the pitcher from the Virgin Islands, is the starter on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, he's a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Fouled away. lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And he fouls this one off. Another 2-2. What an amazing A-B right here. And what a message it sends to your entire lineup. This guy knows out on the mound he's going to have to battle today. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Batting second. Stepping up now, Nick Madrigal. Runner at first to start the inning. And, Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry. And if you don't have a good feel on that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. The three-and-one pitch. fouled away throw over to the bag and he's back standing once again a 3 2 hops this one up and no one can get there. He'll try it again. Another full count pitch home. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk in the first inning, it might be a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. Coming to the plate now, Jake Cave. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Popped him up. Jackson shading to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Batting four. No left fielder. Daniel. So striding in, Daniel Polka, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled off. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Oh. 
Alka puts a good swing on it, and there's the ball carrying to deep right field. And this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. Boy, there's a long drive bullet off the wall right there, but the outfielder does a really good job, B roll, of getting that one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there, not putting his head down, being over aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, D roll, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into a double. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Going back is the left fielder. And the track. Gone! It's a grand slam. So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one as they move on top four to nothing. It seems like only a couple of minutes ago that we were ready for a hard-fought game. But things have taken a dramatic turn here early. They jumped all over this guy, including that grand slam. And they might not be done yet. Stepping in now, Alec Bone. The bouncer to the left side, scooped up. And there are two away now. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle. And he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. Stepping into the box, Dylan Cousins looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Four runs here in this half inning. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But the damage was done right here as you get another look at the Grand Slam home run. Second inning coming up. It's now a 4-0 ball game. Digging in now, Josh Fegley. And they've got some work to do early on. Down 4-0 already. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Made him look silly with that one. The one-two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. To the plate now, Dylan Carlson. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. In now, Lucas Ersay. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Good breaking ball, and it's in there. Two and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit in the air to center field. Cave will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Brandon Dixon steps in now. The 1-1. One, one. Pulled the string on him there as this is popped up. 
Back behind second. Henson stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Patty Knight, the catcher. Kevin Smith. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Smith. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now that the shortstop. Digging in for his second at bat, Lucius Fox. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Two out, nobody on. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Nate Pearson, a right-hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Leading off the inning, Ronnie Dawson. And they'll need him to get something going here. The 1-1 is laid off for ball two. Hard hit toward the hole. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's there, and he's out. Well, that was certainly worth another look with show track. He made that play look easy, but the sliding stop is anything but. Then he rifles the ball across the infield to complete the out. Just a great play all the way around. Digging in, Alan Henson. Hard hit at third. Fielded cleanly. Pro gets him two down. Now batter. No left fielder. Now batting, Zach Rex looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. The one, two. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Your Jared Eikhoff will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Yell. Number 73. Jared Eikhoff. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Nick Madrigal. Ready to deal, here's the 1-1. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. The one two. Oh, that pitch is up. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Now back. 
So the bases are empty with one man gone. And in to hit next will be Jake Kane. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit to first. He's got it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So here's Daniel Ponca now. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The next 3 2. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Now back, the designated hitter, Alex Kirilov. Digging in to try it again, Alex Kirilov. He's already got four RBIs in this one. Hey, the difference in this one, they lead by four. Go back to this guy's previous AB, a towering grand slam that knocked in four runs. Hit hard to third. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the top of inning number four. International League stars on top, four to nothing. Shouching Chang is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. For the International League, number 68. Ready for another chance? Drew Jackson. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Well, we've seen some now really good pitching from the these guys in this hitters. one. The bullpen has oh, looked yeah. sharp and it backed up a nice Healy. effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. At the plate, Ryan Healy. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Here's another one, too. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Popped him up. Fox over to his right. And that's the second out of the inning. Now that first base Seth Brown. Settling in now, Seth Brown. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty, two and two. That swing looked kind of out of control to me. It looked like he was trying to dial nine, but when you're down by four runs early in the game, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Josh Fegley would be next. Now the three and two pitch. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Now batting, catcher. So stepping in, Josh Fegley. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two-out walk. Always considered a big no-no, of course. He's going. Runners on the move for second. Strike called. Now the throw down. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. 
Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Sixto Sanchez is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 73, Sixto Sanchez. Now with the plate, Alec Bohm. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. At the ball. up the middle oh, and he has some trouble with it and they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely at the plate now Dylan Cousins drilled to the right side he lays out for it but he can't pull it in and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, don't sleep on first base. I know they call third base the hot corner, but there's some bullets hit down that way, too. Good effort on the dive right there, but batter singles. Standing in now, Brandon Dixon on the ground to the left side. And that's through into left, a base hit. The throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Everything done right, Dan, on both sides, the now defensive batting. side Hitler. and the offensive Hitler. side, to send him. And the outfielder made a Hitler. strong, accurate throw, but that runner was safe. No doubt about it. That's one of those where you got to be aggressive as a third base coach. You know the outfielder has a strong throwing arm. You're taking your a lot of things. You're trying to get through a decision to send. A good send and a close play, but it all worked out. High in the air out to center field. Dawson is there, and he has it for the first out. Digging in once again, Lucius Fox. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Cousins rounds third and is digging for the plate. He will score. And it's now a six-run lead. And he'll pull into second with one away. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Into the box now, Nick Madrigal. Fly ball to straightaway left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give his guy a third a chance. Into the box, Jake Cave. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now the one and one pitch. Two balls, one he certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat footed for much longer. Three runs already home here. Ball even at two and two. A look now the pitch and he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired so three runs on four hits no errors and a man left on on to the top of inning number five we go the International League stars lead it seven to nothing 
Michael Pineda gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 35, Michael Pineda. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the catcher, Josh Fegley. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. One and two now. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting, the right field, Gillen Carlson. Striding in, Dylan Carlson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And he is in at second base with a one out double. That was some great situational hitting there after surveying the field to see what the defense was giving him. The third baseman was well off the line, and he had no chance to make a play as he sprays it down the left field line for a two bagger. the plate now Lucas Ersig line towards center field and that's in there base hit and the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here that makes it seven to one now no mistake what he was sitting on looking for a dead red piece of cheese middle of the plate and he didn't miss it Into the box, Ronnie Dawson. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. Stepping in now, Alan Henson. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Here now the 2-2. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now better. No left field. At the plate now, Zach Rex. One and two now as that one's fouled off. is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away and he'll make it to third here on what will likely be ruled a passed ball ready with the two and two for the guy in the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy he's thrown a bunch of pitches and this AB hasn't been any different definitely laboring at the moment away good battle here this will be the seventh pitch coming up and 
And he fouls this one off. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. Ground ball sent back up the middle. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. International League stars on top, 7-1. to one. Brock Stewart gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Brock Stewart. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Daniel Polko. And it's fouled away. Try again, one, two. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one into the second deck and gone. Solo shot here to straightaway right field as this is now a seven run ball game. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. So now to the plate, Alex Kirilov. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. Now batting. The third baseman, Alex Ball. At the plate, Alec Bohm. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Standing in now, Dylan Cousins into the corner and slicing foul. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. In now, Brandon Dixon swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. Through five innings, it is now eight to one. Jonathan Loisega takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 43, Jonathan. Oh, Ready now, Drew Jackson. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. 
One and one. Here it comes. Nope. Outside. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Pitch is popped up. Bohm has a play, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The bat, the designated hitter, Ryan Healy. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Two balls and two strikes to count to Ryan Healy. The 2 2 is looked at for ball three. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away. So the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. There's ball four. The batter, the first baseman. Seth. Ready for another shot now, Seth Brown. It was a walk in his last trip. Hit hard on the ground to second. Reined in. One there. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Taylor Clark gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Ready once again, Kevin Smith. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Here now the 2 2. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. There's another line drive leadoff single right now. I mean, they have an unbel they've had an unbelievable scouting report on these pitchers today. They are finding barrels. They are not trying to do too much. Guys are staying in the big part of the field and hitting everything on the screws. Into the box, Lucius Fox. Nope. Three and one. I got three and one. Three balls, one strike. Slice down the left side, but foul. Nobody out, runner on first. That misses. So a single and a walk, and it's first and second with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Into the box now, Nick Madrigal. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. The 2 2. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To second for one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance throw to the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it. But they did get the out. Into the box now. Jake Cave. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 
set and the one one pitch and he turns on one sending it high and deep to right it'll die on the warning track as the catch is made and here comes the runner from third and they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third it's a nine one ball game trying to pick things up where we left off Daniel Polka is off to a fast start in this one two for two including a home run we all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked and he turned that thing around and it got out of here in a hurry. Wow I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. The one two is taken for ball two. Two out with the man at first. Fouled off. Here's another two two. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. A run, a hit, and a man left. We're through six full. The International League Stars lead it nine to one. Austin Bryce is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. International League, number 31, Austin Anthony Bamboo is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. His career numbers against this pitcher, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. To first, scooped up, and he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Now batter, the third baseman. Look at Digging in and looking for more, Lucas Erceg singled home a run in his last time up. Two out, nobody on. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. And now pitch on the way. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seven minute stretch. Anthony Bemboom will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. 65, Ronnie Rodriguez. Now catching. Ronnie Rodriguez will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Number 65, Ronnie Rodriguez. Trevor Rosenthal comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Jonathan Lucroy is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Number 12, Jonathan Lucroy. Hit to third. One away. Now batting third baseman, Allen. Oh. Ryan Mountcastle will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the inning. Ryan Mountcastle. One out, nobody on.
fouled away. Rosenthal has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. To the plate now, Dylan Cousins. Nope. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Ryan Mountcastle is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Number six, Ryan Mountcastle. Zach Birdie has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth and digging in is the outfielder Ronnie Dawson. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Well hit to right but foul. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Now that the second baseman, Allen Hanson. So digging in now, Allen Hanson. A hit in two tries for him so far. Bases are empty, one man out. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. He's set. Here's the three-one. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. In there, a base hit. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. They haven't had much luck so far tonight, so they'll definitely take that extra base hit. It only takes one, so maybe they can string together a few and get back into this thing. Max Schrock will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. Number 55, Max Schrock. Runner at second here with one man out. Down low, two balls and a strike. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. Skied into straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Now batter. The good stop. Jimmy Govern will be charged with the job of getting that guy home as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at third. Govern. Oh, 
all over that one but a little out in front foul ball. Looking for the strikeout here's the one two. Looked like the changeup slipped out that time and it misses well above the zone. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Now on three and two as a pitcher you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Two outs here with a runner at third. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Dixon is there and he puts this one away for the third out so a great job there of working out a potential trouble so no runs on a hit here no errors one man left on home half of the eighth straight ahead International League stars on top nine to one Your Max Schrock please. remains in the now game batting left. eighth and Manning left Number field 55. Max Jimmy Govern now will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop eight. Jimmy Juan Nicasio enters yeah. now in a mop-up role Number as he'll four. try to keep the deficit Juan. right where it is. Nicasio. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next it'll be the fleet-footed first baseman, Brandon Dixon. The 1-1. Is a good fastball swung on and missed. Sent on the ground out to second. And there's one down now. Now batting. Catcher. Kevin. Smith. Now at the plate, Kevin Smith. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. The 2 2. Fastball is outside. It's full now. 3 and 2. One out, nobody on. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase, but he won't get there. It falls in. Christian Colon will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Number 29. Christian. And he takes a cold strike too. The one and two pitch. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. the stretch and he missed with it here so now it's a full count three and two not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion three two count you send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones now have that late action that just defense. darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Andres Jimenez will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Yeah. 
the 2-2. Two -two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And that's lifted the other way out to left. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We've played eight full. The International League Stars lead it 9-1. to one. Christian Colon is the new shortstop as he stays in the game after entering as a pinch hitter. Andres Jimenez will remain in the game at second base after coming on as a pinch hitter in the last half inning. Brian Baker comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Drew Butera is going to pinch hit here to lead off the ninth, and with his club already well down, he'll just need to try and get on base here. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So it's a leadoff single that kicks off their half of the ninth. I know the score's out of hand right here, but I've never met a big league ball player that's going to give away an at-bat in any game ever. Nice piece of hitting right there. Staying within yourself and grabbing you a knock. With Jake Knoll come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 19, Jake Knoll. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2 and 2 now. As a look, now the pitch. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's 3 and 2 now. Now the payoff pitch home. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Now batter, the catcher, Anthony. Striding into the box, Bamboom. Anthony Bamboon. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. None out, runners at first and second. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. goes and chops this one out towards second. There's one on to first and they get the double play. Now it's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time this will be the result, a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Taylor Trammell will come on as a pinch hitter. For the PPL. Number 86, Taylor Trammell. Very high, two and one. Now 
now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound on to first and that's your ball game. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs feels good to dominate a game like that nine to one is the way this one ends the International League All Stars jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Domingo Herman pitches well enough to get the W. Jarrell Cotton only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, we're all thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious International League All-Star. Nine runs on ten hits. No errors. They left five men on base. For the Pacific Coast League, one run on six hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.